let's create a grid background with HTML and CSS. We just start with the body selector, add a width of 100 viewport width and a height of 100 viewport height. Let's do some setup. So color 1 I will set as black, color 2 I will set as transparent. We'll also need other variables like size, I'll just leave that at 48 for now. Thickness, which will be how wide the line will be. We also have an offset which will be calculated by the thickness times minus 1. We can now start with the background property. I'm going to use shorthand today. I'm going to start with the first background layer which is the linear gradient. Then after the linear gradient add a space, then plot two points, 0, 0, 1 for x and 1 for y position. Then after that you add a space, a slash, and then you plot the points for the size values, which are 100% times 100% width and height. After that add a space, then put down your value for the background repeat property. This will be repeating, so we can put down repeat. We want to start with a horizontal line. We will begin with color 1, which is black, start from 0, and then use our thickness variable to tell the gradient where to stop. Now you use color 2, which is transparent, and then use thickness again, and that will just make the rest of this gradient transparent. This will create a horizontal line. I'll just change this color to red, just so you can see it in the preview. And there's our first grid line. We want to make a vertical line too. We will just have to copy this linear gradient, paste it in, add a comma. This time we want to rotate it by 90 degrees. Now if you look in the preview we now have a horizontal line and a vertical line. If we repeat this it will create a grid for us. So what we do now is we change these size values both the width and height ones to the size variable that we have declared earlier. And if you look over at the preview here, we have created our grid. If you look at the corner here, it's a little messy. It would be better if we had the grid start from beyond the page instead. So that's why I've added the offset value here. For the vertical line, I will take this x value for position and use the offset here. And if you look at the preview, you can see that the x position has moved a bit. So it looks like it's coming from the edge of the page. And and we want to do the same for the horizontal line. We will also add the offset here but in the Y position. And there we have our grid. You can change any of these values to make the grid the size you want, the color you want, the thickness of the lines you want. I'm going to go with, let's go with pink. And you know I got to add my cow emoji again. So I have one prepared earlier. And there we go. Happy coding.